Hi, Barry Vesti, OLED Lighting, OLED UK, Operations Director. One of the questions we get asked quite often is, how do you suspend your LED panels or how do you surface mount your LED panels? As a manufacturer, we do quite quick installation guides, but the video is gonna be easier for you. When you're putting a panel in a grid ceiling, you should actually tie in a cable and lock it to the concrete ceiling above, just in case your, your suspended ceiling comes down, you don't want panels falling on people's heads because they're a bit heavier than a, obviously a tile. So with our panel, around the outside we have all the runner rail and in this runner rail are already the bolts to go. This is our pro panel. This is a really good quality aluminium backed, uh, wrapped around a heat sink version. You know, strain relief, locked to the driver. Same principle with our eco panel, another runner rail with all the bolts in. But today I'm gonna to give you a demonstration on how to fix these. In the bag of goodies, you've got a, a, a set of parts. Now, first thing you do, is you take the part with the base and the screw. I'm gonna use the cable just to pull my bolt out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna line it up with the suspension position, okay? I then want to take my, my part there and I wanna lock it onto the panel. Now that's locked, very, very simple. I then take this part here and I feed it through with the blank end, you've got a ball on the other end, as simply as that, now it's locked. I can put that straight onto that panel there in the position that we've got there. I then want to take the surface bounce to go up. You take the raw plug, you position it where you want it to go. You put the screw behind through there and you lock this part up to the ceiling. Okay, now it's locked in the ceiling. I then take the end of the cable and I put it through this, this gland, which will go only one way unless you, unless you push the nib in there. I then take the end that's on and I feed it through this hole at the side, which I'm doing there, pull it tight, screw the two parts together. Once that's screwed together, that's a bit loose at the minute. There you go, screwed together. Now I have a full suspension. If you look down, it's locked in the panel, locked up. I can do this with four cables on the outside of the panel and make a nice pendant if I like. Moving to surface mount. Surface mount is a bit of a pain because many people buy in cheap, flimsy kits that are not very good for surface mounting panels. First thing with ours, in Oraled UK, it's a nice, strong, sturdy unit, okay? If we look at it, it's a nice, strong unit. It comes formed in the box, ready to go with the fixings. So I want to draw out on my concrete ceiling where this wants to go, the positions of each to line them up. I then use the four bolt uh, uh, connectors here that are already over there drill through, make my raw plug, and I fix up my surface kit. I don't have to lift the panel at the same time, which is important because the panel is heavy. Now what I do is at the end there is a trim. This is a trim. I simply undo the two screws and the trim will come off, and then I slide the panel into position. Just take them two screws off. I'm gonna lose them for a minute because it's, it's fine. I know where they are, they're on my desk. Okay, I take the trim off. I slide the panel in, I pop the driver behind, and then I put my trim back on, and now my panel is surface fixed. Very, very easy. The whole point of design and construction on panels is to make them easy. We don't just look for quality, we make it so that it's easy to fix. With no stupid tabs that come up that can cut your fingers, just a nice, easy system for locking. Okay, any other videos, they're gonna be on YouTube. This one's informative, I hope it helps you. Thank you.